Hello, welcome to Hook Legends. Thanks for watching today's video. Um, today I'm out here on a day where a cold front's about to come through. I'm one of the first cold fronts of the year, so um, it's not going to be really that cold here in Florida, but the, um, the barometric pressure will be going up, which isn't necessarily good for fishing. It's also um, very windy out here today. But um, first and foremost, I'd like to say thanks to all of our subscribers. And um, if you've been watching these videos and you like these videos, um, please do me a favor right now. Reach up and click subscribe and like. And make sure you click the notification bell so you'll be alerted when future videos are released. Now, guys, today I'm going to get out here and I'm going to do a little bit of um, long lining with my six foot Durang Shakespeare Durango rods. And uh, once again, conditions aren't that great, so I don't expect to absolutely just load the boat full of fish today. But the weather feels good to me. Um, it's not so hot out here, so I just want to get out and have a good time. So, um, I only have maybe, and the sun's already down below the tip of the tree, so I probably got 45 minutes to an hour tops. But um, I'm going to see if I can take some fish out of the water and put them in the boat. So since I'm short on time, let's go ahead and get to the action. Oh, looks like we, looks like we picked up one. I think he's on there. Yeah. He ain't fighting real well. Yes, he is fighting. I don't think this fish. I don't think this fish know you come. I don't know if he's any size or not. I see you. Okay, we're gonna bring him in. I think that fish will go about fish will go about a pound. I'm gonna at least put him in the cooler even if I throw him back later. I saw a few of them stacked up in there, so I'm gonna see if I can go back through there and uh, maybe pick off three or four more. Now, if I can find these fish, if I can find these fish in the exact location, I'll stop and just cast over in there. I want to see if I can mark the exact location of these fish. Look at that guy. You got one on this side. I want to locate and pinpoint them. So I can, oh, I lost that fish. He came off. I'm gonna go back through there. Turn around and go back through there. Because if I can figure out exactly where they are, I just go over there and I'm, I mean, the wind out here is atrocious. I can't let it blow me sideways into that wasp nest over there around those pipes. So, so far, I got one on an acid rain, and um, I hit one on acid rain and one on bubble gum. Well, I've had some bites on the bubble gum. Even though I haven't caught the fish yet. Right there. I think I'm going to just come back over here and try to cast in there to him. I keep getting dangerously close over here to this wall here. Yeah, got one. <laughs> yes, I think it's going to be fish for dinner. I think we're going to have fish for dinner tonight. Look at that beautiful fish. I mean, that's a, he's not a big one, not huge. Um, but, I don't know, he's kind of small. I think I'm going to throw that one back. Kind of small. I guess what I'm doing here is I use my um, side image to locate some structure. It looks like a standing up pipe. Don't know if it's galvanized or what, but um, and I'm just throwing out in that area where I saw that structure. Letting it drop down maybe about five feet. See if I can catch a few more. Cold front coming in. Windy. Not the best conditions. Um, pressure increasing. Not the best conditions to be fishing in. I'm going to keep modifying my retrieve. See if I can find a retrieve that really works here. This is a solid fish, folks. This is a solid fish. Got a lot of fight in him. Not huge, but 
I say not huge guys, you know, I like all my fish to be two pounds, but um, it's a beautiful little fish. Beautiful little fish. See if I can throw out here and hang another one. Okay guys, this spot's not producing for me. Caught a few fish, but um, since I'm short on time, I gotta move. I gotta find a spot where the fish are wanting something to eat. I found them, ladies and gentlemen. They're right back there. Right back there. Just had two bites. Missed them. And, um, but I'll be going back through there. Okay. You wind up and you turn. See if we can go back there and do some damage. Guys, just as I was about to U-turn, look over there. Look over there. I was about to turn around and U-turn. And uh, before I could turn, yeah. Yes, come on, big buddy. Yeah, he's not that big, but he's got a lot of heart. We're going to put him in the cooler. Look at that fish. Healthy. Healthy, beautiful fish. Look at that. That is a healthy, beautiful fish. Not huge, but that's a beautiful fish. Guys, I found their pal, they're absolutely stacked up right back there so I'm gonna go back there and see if I can catch some let's go through let's go through that little hole again now this time guys if I if I if I get a few bites over here this time I may just try to stop hold the boat and make some some cash over in there see if we can pull out a few I want to be going about 1.2 miles an hour once my lure gets through it looks like they're right up here about 15 feet in front of where the boat is now didn't get any strikes. I'm gonna go back. Yeah, they're right off from that stump. There's some right back there. This rod over here should get a hit. This one. This rod should get a hit in about 15 feet. Oh, there's a couple slaps back down there. There we go. They hit it. Didn't, didn't suck it in, but they hit it. I'm going to go back over there. I see where they're stacked up at. I'm going to go back over here and throw one in. Oh, look, we got some action over here. Look at there, guys. Got some action. Small fish, but. At least he's fun to catch. Now that one went for the old acid rain. Go back and grow up, little baby. <laughs> Look over here. Hey guys, we got some action on the orange Durango. Yeah, you didn't feel like a monster either, guys. You know, seems like on these high pressure days big ones just aren't baiting. Now, I don't know if they're going to start. Actually, that's weird. This is a bluegill, not even a crappie. Look at that. Go back, little fella. Oh, whoa, look at that guy. We got some action over here. Some action over here. Let's see if this one's a little bigger. He's a little. He's not a huge fish, but still, he's a lot. He's a lot bigger. Ah, and I lost him. I lost him while I was trying to turn my trolling motor. I need more hands, but that was a nice fish you saw. Him. Guys, look at here. I heard a splash right there, and look, and there's a fish jumping. Pretty sure it's a little bass. Yeah, 
Yes, sir, a little bass. Little bass. There we go, one for the road. Uh, this wind out here is getting crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear it howling or not, but look here, guys, this is a good fish. This is a good fish to go home on. That's a good fish. Now that fish was um that fish was down in there pretty deep and I just kept kept working it not too far away from that stump to catch him. But um cold front crappie. Hey guys, today today's gear when I'm trolling, I'm just using my um eight foot Shakespeare Durango's pick them up at Walmart eight or nine dollars and um, they're equipped with I use either um, six or eight pound test line and I put a loop knot on there in the jig and I go about 1.0 to 1.2 miles an hour with a 1 8 ounce jig head so you know these um it's a very economical rig to fish with I'm about to get hung here guys It's a very economical um, rig to fish with. Very reliable. Feels good in your hand. Has the right backbone, the right action to it. So, um, fishing does not have to be expensive, guys. But um, I'm going to sit here for a few more minutes, see if I can catch a couple more. Hey, guys, it's been a few weeks since I put out a video. It's been busy. Um, working on my boat slip, getting my boat lift working right. Luckily, that's been resolved now. Um, dealing with doctor's appointments, you know, I have an 88-year-old mother that I um, I'm blessed to still be able to enjoy her company. So, um, but you know, I spend spend time with my mom, taking care of her. So, um, I'll be back real soon to trying to put these videos out there about once a week. <laughs> one for the road, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at here. That is a nice fish. That is a beautiful fish. That. That is a cold front crappie. Hey guys, I picked up the most fish while trolling I think I mean I caught quite a few just throwing the jig but um looks like the better fish are definitely coming uh oh got my camera right the better fish are definitely coming off of this orange jig head with a green and blue body see if I can get one more I mean, these fish are making me work extremely hard here, right at dark, in order to catch a mess of fish. And I tried trolling through there past that stump. They weren't having it. I'm having to cast this jig up in there and work it. <clears throat> yeah. Another one for the road. I don't know if it's the low light condition that's turning these fish on or what, but, um... And I saw these fish up next to that stump on my side imaging. But look at there. This is a nice fish. And I mean, that fish inhaled it. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, that fish inhaled it. See if I can catch another one. There were several on it. I'm going to see if I can get him off real quick. Catch another one. It's getting dark. And I got to get out of here. But guys, how can you leave when you're catching beautiful fish like this? Not my friend. <laughs> Come on, give me one for the road. One for the road. Alright guys, the wind is getting the 
wind is getting pretty rough out here and um I mean I probably got about 10 fish here in this hour hour and a half not great but you know about what to be expected based on the condition and um once again I um if you like these videos please make sure you click subscribe and like make sure you click notification bell so you'll be alerted when future videos are released thanks for watching hook legends Nice one here, one nice crappie to go in the cooler.